So I'm Natalie, I'm the founder of Seat Square. And Seat Square is a stylish and functional fashion accessory that you place on seats. Dirty, textured, hot seat surfaces. It helps protect your clothing and your bare legs from filth, dirt, heat. Um, very functional and it's super portable. Comes in a nice little soft pouch. Um, it's buttery soft. So yeah, it's it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, really nice feel. So especially if you're like your bare skin, it feels really good on your bare skin. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just a, a way to sit in confidence. I love it. Awesome. All right, are you ready for the resilience round? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Best business book. Oh, I would have to say, oh, to pick one is tough. I know. Getting things done by okay. David Allen. Just super easy way to, well not easy, it's a very in-depth way on how to organize mm. with your systems, your processes, because I think nice. once you get things like organized, then yeah. no matter how stressful or whatever, if you just trust your systems and your processes, then you can handle anything, really. That's so true. Yeah. Good one. Uh, best retail technology, like an app or software? Ah, uh, retail technology. I mean, Shopify is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's so my co-founder, he helps a lot with the Shopify, thankfully, because I'm not very tech savvy. Um, but yeah, I think Shopify has really given us the opportunity to showcase our product without having to have a brick and mortar store. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. How do you keep up with the ever-changing retail landscape? Wow. That's, uh, I think it's actually fun and challenging because mm -hmm. I think it, we, we're very creative. We love to do like new patterns and prints and stuff. So. Um, I think it's always fun to do something new and different for every season. Bring yeah. in some new colors, bring in some new patterns and things like that. So, so true. Um, yeah, and I think you just have to stay on top of it. Stay on top of the trends. Um, and yeah, it's yeah. fun. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> to help retailers be stronger, more rooted in success, what's a retail foundational best practice? Retail foundational best practice? I'd say um, just believe and I think um, believe in your product and deliver quality and for us we're building a community like we're not just selling a product like we're building a community and our mantra is all about like making sit happen mm. so it's kind of a play yep, on yep. that <laughs> I won't That's swear cute, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah it's just about encouraging people and inspiring people to get out and I know post COVID some people are, are still a little hesitant to get out and do things and we just want to encourage people inspire people to get out there and uh, make memories and create uh, moments and just really have adventures, explore. Yeah. So I love whatever that. that looks like, it's yeah. different for everybody, but just to, to do that, so. It's so good, yeah. so good. If you were to start your business all over again, what's one thing you'd do differently? I would, I'm very introverted. Okay. And um, this last year has been a very personal journey for me and putting myself out there. One year ago, me would not be doing this. Oh, I love that you're doing <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, so I would have just been like, um, yeah, probably throwing up in the back. But yeah, <laughs> I think it's just, I would say just, I stop caring what people think mm. and just go out there. And really, I do have a belief in what I have created and what I have done. And yeah. um, just being able to in, like engage with people and share my product with people has actually given me the strength and the resilience to, to keep going and to get out of my comfort zone, mm. which is very cool. Well said. <laughs> Thank you. Well said. <laughs> what do you think the future of independent retail looks like? Yeah, it's tricky because, I mean, at first glance, it does seem a little bleak. Um, you know, independent retailers, uh, I know they're struggling and it's really tough because there's the big conglomerates that are just uh, squashing. Mm -hmm. And um, they make it so easy. So I'd love to see like more of a, a technology that really is widespread and helps um, independent real retailers. So it, it's something like with Amazon, it's just everything's there and you just click and that's why it's simple and it's easy. And if there was a way that independent retailers were supported in doing that, I think it could really help. And whether that's through shipping or whether that's through um, easy checkout, yeah. um, you know, some kind of platform that really helps and supports like the masses not just like each person trying to figure it out for themselves yeah that is so. a great suggestion yeah absolutely so. yeah universe listen. I know let's have that happen <laughs> yeah. immediately exactly so good how could people learn more about you and connect with you so we are very active on social um, our Instagram handles at seat square so just a seat square and uh, our website and Shopify is a seatsquare.com. 
Awesome. So thank you for doing this. Thank you, Crystal. Yay. This is fun. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> we did it.